Hi guys, this is Fenchy and today I want to show you how I edit my YouTube videos. Because I'm not a YouTuber full time and my main activity is color grading, I don't have a lot of time to edit my videos. But because I don't have a lot of time, I am working smarter. I'm going to show you how to edit your videos quickly like I do with Motion VFX. So this video is sponsored by Motion VFX. If you don't know who is Motion VFX, Motion VFX is the leading creator of plugins for DaVinci Resolve and for Final Cut Pro. Their catalog contains packages that will answer all your needs as an editor. These ready-made plugin and template will help you to go faster but also level up your editing. I am using Motion VFX plugins for my uh, YouTube videos but also for my professional projects. If you want to buy some packages from Motion VFX, click in the link in the description and get 10% off with my code FRENCHY10 on your wall basket. Also a reminder, uh, if you buy multiple packages of Motion VFX, you also have a promotion on this. The installation of the plugins is super easy because Motion VFX provide the M installer and the M installer will handle for you the integration of the plugins in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you Motion VFX for sponsoring the video. Let's go to the tutorial. So here we are guys in our timeline and as you can see I already edited uh, some of my video. I cut the A rule and I cut the B rule uh, for us actually to know where we are in our video. If you can see, I put a lot of markers and these markers like, will help me to know where I'm going to put my titles and where I'm going to put my effects. Because when I was editing this video, I was just making sure that at each time I was forcing a title or an effect or a motion graphic, I was just uh, marking this moment for me after to come back later to it. So for this if you want for example to put your marker in you just need to go to your clip and press M double click and then uh, put the title of your marker. There is also the option to uh, do it on the timeline so you don't have to select any clip you can just press M and then uh, double click on it and rename your marker. But as I was cutting and I wanted it to uh, land on a specific clip and I didn't know if, for example, my time code would stay the same, then I just prefer to put it on the clip itself. I'm going to show you the real power of markers. You can just go to your index and uh, if you arrive to edit index, you can go to markers and I can go to all the markers I marked and also I have the title of my marker. Don't mind this uh, marker 1 or marker 2 etc etc uh, because this is just um, my clip that is linked on the sound and so it creates also a marker on the sound track so I just ignore it okay. So first I want to create a menu uh, where actually I'm explaining what's gonna happen in the video. I'm gonna have some titles, I'm gonna have information card. Also for this video we're gonna have a gauge of uh, satisfaction because for this video I'm just giving my feeling towards the micro color panel. When I'm done with the skeleton of my titles, I want to add some engagement buttons that would actually incentivize people to uh, subscribe to the channel and to be engaged with the content. So now that we have everything, how are we going to do it in a short amount of time? The answer is very simple because you saw it uh, during the intro. We're going to use some Motion VFX plugins and we're going to use especially two Motion VFX plugins which are the M Essentials and the M Tuber 3. To find it, uh, I can have my FX and maybe I can just like close my index to show you better and I can type either M Essentials to find all the package of M Essentials and same for M Tuber, or I can just put M because all the plugins of uh, Motion VFX start with a M, and then I can access to all my plugins from Motion VFX. But here, because I have a lot of plugins from Motion VFX, I'm just gonna type M Essentials and M Tuber, so then you can follow better what I'm gonna do. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our marker 
and let's start actually to our menu. So in the video, if you saw the video about the microcolor panel, I want to present the microcolor panel on few aspects. And for this, I need a menu because I'm announcing what I'm gonna tackle as subjects. I'm just gonna go to my M essential and I'm gonna take the M essential chapters. And so for this really simple, I'm just gonna drag and drop. Okay, and so when I'm going to play it, I'm going to have chapters that are going to appear. So if you can see, when I play the video, uh, there's already the animation, which is great. And the look is very professional. It doesn't crowd the video that much and it's pretty easy to read. When you arrive to the inspector, we have a possibility to tailor our chapters. You have content control, which is a global control, so content scale, content rotation. So this is in global, but you can actually have the text. So you can have your chapter without the text if you want to, or you can have uh, more text. And if, for example, uh, I just go press enter and add something else, it will create another point, which is great. You can control uh, also the font, you can control the scale, etc., of, of the text. Uh, and also you can control the timeline. So you can control the spread of it if you want it to be longer, if you want it to be shorter, the length, etc, etc. So there is a lot of possibilities to make it your own. So here I'm just going to put in my text control what I want for my menu. So if you followed the video that I just released before this video about the microcolor panel, so we tackle the aspect, we tackle the connectivity. Just in few minutes, I created my menu and uh, I can extend my menu uh, until the end of my presentation. I think I'm just going to make my font uh, a bit bigger. So I'm just going to put it bolder and I'm just going to raise the scale so then we can see better the text. I think I'm fine with that. Okay, so now uh, let's go to the titles. So at each category that I'm explaining on the micro color panel, I want to have each title to tell my viewer where we are in the video. For this, I'm just gonna go to the M Essentials. So I'm staying in the M Essentials and I'm gonna take the M Essentials title too. This is like one of my favorite because it is very simple and uh, it is very easy actually to control. So I'm just going to drop it here. So the first chapter is called Aspect. So I'm just going to go to my title control and just type Aspect. Okay. And when I've done this, I can just see how it plays out. And I really like how discreet it is. I just think that it's pretty good that it's on the side just like because it's not too distracting and it doesn't block my face so I think this is perfect like this so let's say now I want to have the information card so here I'm just presenting the weight of the old micro panel compared to the weight of the new micro color panel so here I want to show the weight of the old micro panel so uh, what I'm going to do is just that I'm going to go to M essential specs and this will permit me to have a sort of information that will pop out. So then it is easier for my viewer to just keep the information and uh, appropriate it to them. So here I'm just going to go to my title control and I'm going to uh, put 3.5 kilos. And uh, I think I'm just going to change the size of it because I want it to be a bit bolder. And the problem here, you can see it's next to my face, which is not that great. So uh, what I can do is go to content control and I can move this information when it doesn't really disturb anything in the image. So then I have the weight coming in and coming up. And I'm going to do the same for here because this is my marker of 1.18 kilo. So then the new micro color panel is 1.18 kilo. And I'm just going to duplicate this and go to my title control and put 1.18 kg. 
and we have information that I just added very quickly and that looked pretty good. Okay, so now here I want to have a gauge of satisfaction because I am rating each category by my satisfaction. So I have one tool that I really like is the M Essential Card 2. So if you see, I'm having a gauge that fill up in function of a percentage and uh, I can put some titles. So it is pretty interesting for me because I can uh, put the title of my category. I can put my subtitle, which is satisfaction. So I'm just going to drag and drop here. And what we're going to do is just that we're going to tailor the title card. And after I'm just going to reposition it for it to not block my face. So in the title, you can see, so this is going to be my category title. Here, uh, I want my category to be aspect. Okay, for the header, it's going to be uh, the number of the category. So I'm just going to put hashtag one. The subtitle, I'm just going to put satisfaction because this is what my percentage represents. And for the number control, I'm just going to put 98 because this, I rated it at 98%. And if you see, if you are increasing the number, the gauge is following which is great. So uh, I'm having everything. Uh, I can also not put the progress bar, but I really want the progress bar and uh, I can change its thickness. Um, but I think this is really nice like this and uh, I can go. So if I play it, it will be like this, which I really like. And so now I'm just going to go back to the global controls. So this is the content controls and I'm just going to put it just under uh, me for us to have a clear view of this gauge. And when I'm playing it, I'm having this animation coming in and I really like it. So this is all for the gauge. This is what I'm going to do for each category that I'm tackling in this video. So I will spare you my whole process where I just copy and paste and make my whole video. We're going to go straight to engagement. So let's say here uh, I'm just showing some Instagram photos and I would like people to actually find me on Instagram. And so for this, I'm just going to add my Instagram handle and I have plugins that really can help me on this and these plugins are in the mtuber so i'm just gonna type mtuber in my research bar and i'm having the mtuber 3 where uh, actually i'm having all the tools that can help my youtube videos a lot there is a lot of engagement buttons but also uh, i'm having a lot of effects and a lot of backgrounds which is really really cool because on some projects i really need that here we want to have the handle the Instagram handle and for that I'm just gonna take the mtuber 3 social media and I'm just gonna drop it here and we're gonna have an icon that comes in with the name and also the title what I want to do is change this icon to an Instagram icon so I'm just gonna go to logo control and I can change my uh, logo to Instagram if I want to I can change it to 3d and so when I change it to, to 3D, I'm having an animation in 3D. Here I like to stay in 2D, so I'm just going to stay in 2D. That's completely fine. And uh, I'm just going to change the name and change the position. So to change the name and the position, I will go to title control. And I'm just going to put my handle for Instagram, which is Frenchy underscore city. And uh, I don't want actually to have the subtitle. So what I can do is either I delete everything and we don't see the subtitle or uh, I can just disable the subtitles. So I just disable it. So then I'm sure there is nothing that is left. And so when I play it, I'm having the animation where you can see Instagram and my handle. I'm just going to extend it to all my images. I want to just like put an engagement button at the beginning and an engagement button at the end. I'm just going to go to my first engagement button. So this engagement button, I am not mentioning my YouTube channel anything during this moment. It's just that I want them to be reminded to subscribe uh, even though I am not mentioning the channel. So for that, I'm just going to go to uh, 
my MTuber 3, uh, I can go to the call to action. And so in call to action, I have a lot of buttons that ask people to uh, smash the like button or uh, just share the video or uh, like and subscribe. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this MTuber 3 call to action. I'm just going to show you what you can do. Uh, you can change the text of subscribe and uh, subscribe. So if you want to put something else, you can. Also, you have the possibility to have uh, more control on the elements. So for example, if you don't want the cursor, you can choose not to have this cursor. If you don't want to have the bell, you can choose to. And if you don't want to have the hand, you can choose to. You can also like change the bell position, change the hand position. But for the moment, for me, I want to keep it as it is. Uh, what I want to do is to just move it and regulate its scale so then I can have it uh, landing nicely on my image. So uh, I'm just going to go to my content position and uh, I'm just going to place it where I want it to be. So some, somewhere like this. I'm just going to take my scale and go down with my scale so then I'm having it very discreet. And I think this is enough. And I really like it because uh, this is already all animated and I just need to drag it, drop it and maybe change the text if I need to. And also I told you that I wanted to do one engagement button at the end because at the end I'm saying oh, thanks for watching the video. So uh, I'm having another call to action button from uh, the MTuber and this one is not uh, in the call to action chapter but it's in the typography chapter and you can find it in MTuber typography 12 and so here I have thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I find it perfect because this is exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying thanks for watching. I hope the video helped. So uh, having don't forget to subscribe adds another information for people to be uh, more inclined to subscribe to the channel. So I'm just going to drop it here on the marker that I put myself. I'm just going to move it around for it to look pretty well inside the video. So uh, in terms of text, because I really like it, I won't change it. I'm just going to go to the content control and I'm just going to put it next to my face. So then it is very visible. Hello guys, uh, let me know what you think about this new microphone. And it looks pretty nice already on the video. So uh, I, there is nothing that actually I would change. Okay, so this was my two favorite packs from uh, Motion VFX for my YouTube videos, I use them constantly. And don't forget that you have 10% off on all the Motion VFX packs with my code Frenchy10. Motion VFX are really helping a lot during my editing because as I am the only editor for my YouTube channel and also I have a full-time job which is color grading, having this help is really good because then I can be really fast and it doesn't take me that much to edit. So I really, really like these plugins. Thank you Motion VFX for sponsoring the video. That was Frenchy Color Grading. See you.